Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today, it's back into Garrett Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition, and this game's gotten spicy. And that's because we now see the main Japanese task force. This might not look imposing on the screen. But this thing was coming around here zapping things like a uh, Death Star uh, at the end of last turn when we resolved. And so let's get up here. Now, I had planned to go on the U.S. West Coast or do some silliness like that. But we have now spotted the main J Japanese task force coming down the Macassar Strait. Uh, we got to go deal with this pronto. Uh, now. Uh, post haste. Uh, so wh what are we going to do here? We're going to get everything the hell out of here. That's that's pretty much what we're going to do. Um, we're going to start with Bali Poppin uh, right off the top. Bali Poppin. All right. We're going to transfer these fighters out of here. Now, two fighters aren't going to do Jack Diddley or Squat. Uh, up against the main Japanese task force. So let's get them over. We could either take them to Surubaya, which is uh, always a good idea. Batavia, potentially, uh, if we want to keep them out of the line of fire. Um, I think this turn, I'll take them to Surubaya. We'll start there. Okay, they're at a cap level 50, uh, 15,000 feet. Let's uh, look at the data. All right, they could go even up to 20 maybe, but we'll keep them at 15. That's where they're optimal. Uh, so off they go. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, we've got a local minesweeper of, you know, gosh, cannon fodder really at this point. Uh, we've got a bunch of these little motorboat PT boats. I don't see any reason to move them. I mean, what are we going to do with them? You know, they're just going to sail out here and be like, you know, wave as they go by. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, and then we've got another. Actually, we've got two local minesweepers out here. These are all one-point ships. Uh, not that you ever want to lose any ships, but let's, let's give them uh, live targets out here so they don't hit our better stuff. How about that? Um, we've got a couple of units here. Let's make sure at Bali Poppin we're at combat, defend, target. I mean, we don't have a whole lot out here, right? Uh, we've got some of these Dutch, the, a Dutch battalion and a base force. So that's not going to stand up to much. Uh, it's Samarinda or Samarinda, I guess. So uh, sure. Um, we've got a base force. We've got two base forces sitting here. Uh, they've got a little bit of av about them. They're defend at target. Okay. I mean, I don't know if they're even coming with any kind of landing force, but we may as well, you know, check out what we can check out. Now, we're trying to pick up these troops. I guess maybe we should have started that a turn or two earlier. Uh, that doesn't seem like, you know, that's going to be a fun route to fly here in the coming future. So, okay, well, now then. Well, what have we got out here actually in the straight? We've got an AKL. This is a little bitty guy. You know, it's one of our worst. 10 speed, hardly any capacity. Uh, but we're, <laughs> we're going to have him book out of here. Get going, buddy. He's up at full freaking speed. What do we have over here? Uh, we actually have a damaged... No, this is not damaged. This is the S41. It's returning to replenish... Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's still got torpedoes aboard. Uh, when it says replenish, really, uh, mines, but it's got no fuel. And so it is heading back to port with no fuel at Surubaya. Ew, you know, that, that may get a little testy up in there. We've also got an AKL here that is completely out of fuel. Uh, dang. Now, this is something we were sending up to, uh, Cebu, it's a two-point ship. We were trying to get it, you know, up to Cebu. It's now getting bullied by this Japanese task force pushing down. All right. Well, it is what it is. I mean, we can only try to do so much. Uh, we've got a sub here on sub patrol. Now, I'm going to leave him this way. He actually already came into Surubaya. Uh, I think he's got full fuel. He does. He's got full torpedoes. Okay. Well, hell, you never, you never know. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll hit something. Uh, maybe he'll run into something. Maybe he'll f float right underneath them. We'll see. We've got uh, the British sailor, a tanker that was coming up here to Bali Poppin. Bad idea. Bad idea. 
That's a Brit ship. Let's take it down to Darwin. Um, yeah, you got a boot scoop boogie out of here, my friend. Uh, let's click there. Dar We're going to have to look for any other ships that are uh, headed to Bally Poppin. Uh, we're going to actually get him up at full speed. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Uh, off we go. Off we go there. What do we have here? Uh, something else going into Bali Poppin. This is a lot of little AKLs. Now, those are not that important. They just dropped off some things at Kendari. They're also going to hightail it back to Darwin as fast as they can. Uh, the AM uh, doesn't really have any fuel to do that. Uh, full speed. We're going to do it full speed for a turn. We're going to do it full speed for a turn. We'll see how far out of here they can get. Now, I don't expect it to turn south and head this way. It's probably going right for Java. And so if this thing limps along once it gets away, uh, okay, you know, it's not the end of the world there. Let's not forget about these ships. we got to go all the way down to Darwin and beyond. Uh, we've got an ASW Tarakan. That is out of here. We've already sent that to Darwin. Can we get it up to full speed? Uh, we're going to try. We're going to try to get it out of here. We've got another one that was coming here to meet a task force. So the Bulmer was coming here. It had a little patrol zone, actually. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. So let's clear the patrol zone. All right. We're going to have a lot of things coming into Darwin this turn, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, all right. Off you go to Darwin. And we'll set a home port of Darwin. The aforementioned Darwin. Did it happen? Yeah, there, there we go. We'll try to set that on full speed if we can. Again, we'll have to come check on these next turn. Uh, we're going to get everything going full speed that we possibly can. Uh, we've got transports and FIB, BF, move. We already did that. We dropped them off down here, or we dropped some troops off down there. Uh, they're coming back in. Um... Let's try to get them up to full speed if we can. Okay, we can. Uh, and hopefully they will get into Surubaya with no further difficulties. AKL, the Lepus, is coming in there. Now, the question then arises, do we need to get everything out of Surubaya? Uh, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, but for now, well, that's actually a very, very poignant question I ask myself. Um, okay, so we got all of them going to Darwin. Everybody's heading south. Everybody's heading south. Uh, why don't we actually have him go to Darwin too? Uh, no reason to go into another combat zone if we don't have to. Now, he really can't make it um, down to Darwin. He was barely going to make it to Surubaya. Uh, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do at this point. So we got him going. We got you going. Now then, what do we have here? We've got the transports, right, okay. These transports will send up to Batavia for now, for now. Um, we may have to evacuate Batavia of all naval craft at some point. We just don't have a lot of fighters. Now see, he can't make it, that's a problem. These are all, eh, it's four point ships, not the end of the world, I say, you know. It is for the people on them. Um, okay, what do we have here? We've got a tanker that's returning to Surubaya. He is going to get out of here to Darwin. We could maybe even take him into Dobby or Broom, but we're going to have this go to Darwin as well. All right, off you go, off you go. Excellent. Um, does he need to go full speed? Not necessarily but if he can why not we're gonna burn some fuel but uh, you kind of got to do what you got to do uh surubaya the lepus eh, we'll let him go into surubaya that's fine um this what is this ams and aos nope no thank you although that's a not a much of an ao but uh, it's something let's have him go into oosthaven and again, we're going to have to probably go back here and revisit all of these at some point uh, and move them again. Uh, we just don't want to give him, you know, bombing, uh, you know, basically free bombing targets. Uh, okay, so they're all headed that way. You're headed that way. What are you doing? You're going into Surubaya. 
Uh, let's actually have you go into Batavia. And we'll set a home port of Batavia. Okay. All right. Now let's go to these uh, little ones down here by Macassar. We've got an AKL, one of our not so good ones, and we've got something else here uh, that's a cargo, you know, transport. Why don't we put these in at Darby? Uh, just kind of mix it up a little bit. I don't want everything stuffed into Darwin. Uh, really don't want him to head towards Darwin. That wouldn't be great. Uh, so off you go. You're going to go at full speed if you can. All right, get out of there. Um, this guy, why don't we just put him in this task force? They're all the same, right? Yeah, so the Sigley. All right, there you go. Done. All right, in you go. Uh, what do we have at Macassar? Uh, we got a local minesweep. We've got a float plane group. Uh, they're flying right over the top of these guys. Not great. Um, these are U.S. Navy ships. Okay, these are something that came out of the Philippines, evidently. Um, how far can you go? Well, let's go to Dili first. Mainly, or do we want to go to Koapang? Let's see where we've got the most support right now. Uh, we're a little overloaded on all of our Dutch bases. We're definitely not going to Singapore, I can tell you that. Uh, Darwin? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's see what his search looks like down at Darwin. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, what else do we have here? Whoops. We've got some level bombers. Those are not going to last very long. These are Dutch. Let's uh, try to take them. Jeppo. Uh, let's look at support again. See where we have any available support. Batavia. Uh, Bally Poppin's got a lot of space now. Ambon. Banduang. Everything's a little almost over, except for like Ambon's not yet. Ben Kalen, Den Passer. Um. We could have put him on the back of the island, but Koapang is completely overloaded right now. Uh, let's put him down in Benkelen. Okay, off you go. Uh, right, so we don't have any ships in port there. We don't have any ships in port here. We do have mines down. Go, go up there and run into a mine. Um, we've, we've taken care of this. What's this? Where are you going? No, that's not a good idea. Uh, you head back to Darwin. That's a British ship out there. Uh, okay. The Brits never run from a fight. Well, they're going to run from this one right now. Uh, I think he's fine to go on normal speed. That shouldn't be a problem. What's happening over at Kindare? Well, that's a great question. We've got a patrol plane that's just running general patrol. Hey, he's probably all right. Uh, we've got a... Another one of these little junky AOs that aren't very good. Uh, we've got a PC AKL. This came in and fib. These are going to have to just stay here for now. We'll get them out if things get a little too hot and hairy around here. Um, okay, we got the Brit out. What are we doing over by Bima? This is where we got a low or an AVP. How much is that worth? Three points. Okay. Um, all right, so we have that float plane tender here. I guess we could have taken those float planes down to Bima, but why? I mean, you're just throwing them into the grist mill there. Uh, a, we've got a local mine sweep there. He's getting out. Uh, Din Passer, that's a local mine sweep. Um, this is a local mine sweeper. Look, if they hit the local mine, I'd rather they hit local mine sweepers than anything. I mean, we've got, you know, six million of those almost literally around the map. Um, okay, he's out. He's going there. He's getting out. Okay. Surubaya. Now, anything that's got some value, we just need to get out of here because they're going to come bomb like mad at Surubaya, I would imagine. And so we've just got to move what we can. All right, off you go. 
you're out of here into Oosthaven for now. For now. Um, subs. I'm fine. Now, he's coming down here to re... <sighs> to top back up. All right. Well, hopefully he can get out of there soon enough. Uh, he was headed to Bima. Right. Eh, time to turn right back around to Batavia, my friend, for a turn or two. Uh, let's go back into D Batavia with you. We got the Japanese sub. Okay, we got a local minesweeper there. We got uh, this transport that's coming in. It's got nothing on it. Uh, okay. We've got destroyer running there. This guy was going to come into Surubaya. He's full out of Singkwang. Uh, we'll actually have him go into Batavia. Okay. We'll make his home port Batavia too, so he doesn't immediately try to back up out of port. E e e. Uh, we said he's fine. He's probably fine. We got all this stuff up at Billiton. Yeah, it's all right. Um, he's running a really interesting path. Both of these guys. What are you doing? You're right there. That's fine. You, the Electra. Um, let's get rid of that patrol zone. And. Let's actually have this run out to, like, Christmas Island I.O. Uh, we probably need some sub activity out here anyway. So let's just run out this way. Around behind the island. Do not come near a Java. Okay, we've already determined all this is fine. This is fine. Eh, it's not great, but it's fine. Ternate and Ambon will leave alone for this turn. Um, now, what do we have up in the air? We've got level bombers. This is the one I think I just transferred these over, right? And we've got some patrol. Okay, let's forget about the ASW. That's not going to do us any good right now. Let's go over to uh, naval search. And we'll do like a 50, kind of a general. Now, we should have enough fighters to get up and help with some of this all right all right so it's surubaya we've got every damn uh, ship in the world here right now of course we do we got 15 in port um level bombers level bombers all right the level bombers let's get them the hell out of here now where are we going to put them is the question um is that true? Is that what I want to do? Let's go look at the fighters. We've got 12, okay, we've got 12 demons here. That's a decent craft right there. High maneuverability. Uh, we've got him rolling at 20,000 feet. Looks good to me. Uh, we've got 12 of those and five in reserve. I like that. We've got 10 339Ds. Okay, so we just make sure we've got these on the proper cap levels. Um, yeah, yep, okay, 50, cap level 15, okay, so more B339s, and we have these transport planes, there's absolutely no reason to keep these around, they've got a 24, can I get them down to like Dilly or someplace like that, I guess I could put them up in Oosthaven, oh, I can get them to Dilly, now that's going to be a real skip, because... It just doesn't have the base support for those. Uh, it may take an op operational loss, loss or six. Uh, Macassar, Koapang. I guess I could run them down to Koapang really fast. Oh, it's so overloaded. But we can take some of these down to Darwin and then spread them out across to Australia. Um... Let's do it for now. We'll go look at Koapang. So you're out of there. All right. Um, patrol. Right. Uh, not a big deal there. Altitude 6,000 feet. Does that make any sense? Probably not. May have to come back to some of these. This is doing a free naval search. Uh, no, actually, it does have a 
vector in there. And then we've got some torpedo bombers. We've actually got 11 of these Vildebeest. Uh, if he comes close, I mean, why not? Naval attack. Uh, let's, whoops, didn't want to do that. Let's bump that up to like a... Do they have fatigue? They do have some fatigue, actually. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll have some torpedo bombers right here. Uh, we've got fighters to run with them. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a lucky shot. You never know. Um, right. Okay. These patrol, I think I want to skip these out of here. I don't, I don't think there's any reason to keep them around. We just don't have any good places to put them, really. Um... Tajilla Chap's got a little space. Ambon's got a little space. Why don't we take them down to Ambon? Okay. We'll take you down to Ambon. If I can. Where'd Ambon go? Um... Is he restricted? He is restricted. Okay. Joe Jakarta. I'd just like to say it. Uh, okay. Seven and seven. Bima. Sure. Let's put him down on Bima. For a turn. Um, patrol craft again. Three more. Again restricted. Uh, let's put them on Bima as well. All right. Okay. Uh, so now we've pretty much just got fighters and, tor and the torpedo bombers. Let's take the level bombers and let's actually put them up at Batavia. And then we'll s turn right back around and maybe move some fighters down here. Now these fighters are probably going to get chewed up a little bit. I'd say a little bit, probably a lot of bit. Uh, but let's at least put up a little bit of a fight um okay so what do we have up here fighter wise we've got four we've got to leave some here we can't just take them all we just don't have that many hot damn we've only got 15 fighters up here i get i, I guess i did just transfer some of these out uh torpedo bombers we'll take them down to surubaya see what happens Come on now. Where's Surubaya? Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay. He's actually got a lot of space down there. Um, how about these... Oh, how about these Vildebeest? Let's take them down to Surubaya. This could uh, be interesting. If we, if we can get in and get a shot off, uh, question whether that could possibly happen, though. Um, okay, so now he's down there. We've got, we got to keep some fighters here. I mean, eventually I'll have to get these level bombers out, maybe. I mean, you just kind of run out of places eventually. I mean, ultimately some of these are restricted Dutch and there's just only so much you can do. Let's look at Surubaya one more time here. 319 on the AV. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got plenty of aviation support plenty of it um all right so we've got torpedo bombers let's make sure they're all set up search yeah he is he's just on straight up naval attack um let's just make put him on straight up naval attack as well uh, four it's his max his max range is five let's go ahead and click that up one his max range is five let's click that one up these torpedo bombers, I mean, we just don't have anything running at this low of an altitude. I'm going to keep them at six. That's fine. We'll do naval attack with all the torpedo bombers. Now, they're probably just going to get absolutely obliterated. Uh, but we, at least we have some fighters here. I mean, we've got 22, 24 fighters here. Um, okay. I also want to get those American Banshees up here snooping around now we don't have any fighters to protect them though is part of the problem but okay we're we'll go look at those soon enough um where are you where are you and where are you going who are you and where are you yeah this is a good this is a good sh group of ships uh we'll just put them in 
Let's just take them down to Broom very quickly. And then over to Darwin, maybe. I don't know. Gosh, this port at Darwin. Talk about overcapacity at some point. Uh, okay, that's fine. So he's now out of here. Um, can we run him at full speed? Those are some good ships. Let's get them out of there as fast as we can. Okay, uh, let's again go look. Let's look at the um, ground forces. Combat, defend, at target. This guy needs to be set at Surubaya. All right, done. Did I move this guy out? Yeah, I did. Okay, just making sure. Now, let's go through some of these task forces and see what the hell we've got here. We've got a support ship. That does not need to be here. We've got two AKs that are supposed to go to Perth with a speed of 12. He's got a speed of 12. What's the name of this ship? The Albatross. Let's send uh, the Albatross with them. Let's send the Albatross with... Okay, there we go. Done. We'll try to consolidate some of this. Uh, that's a, nope, that's a CM. Okay. Well, hell, he's got a speed of 12 too. That's the Regal. Let's put the Regal in here. He'll have a little anti-sub. Uh, Regal goes in. Done. All right, they've all got a speed of 12. Now then, we have two, you know, tankers. These got to get out of here, obviously. We'll take them, um, are they full? yet hold on let's go back to that yeah that's not what i wanted to do uh no they're empty okay let's go ahead and move them to perth we'll just set them down in perth if we have to go get this from cape town we do so be it uh dude i think i'd rather you run a different waypoint than that would i yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like they could still get caught up in some of the air power because they could be right here next turn. Okay, uh, let's set the waypoints this way. Let's go use waypoint one. Let's set you out over here. All right, and then waypoint two, we'll go, you know, we'll go a little, I mean, they're going to Perth, right? So, you know, if we set it out here, that's fine. And then what if I did do these full speed? What are we what are we showing? Yeah, nowhere close. Alright. So he's gonna get to do do wow. Wow. Don't know if I like that. I may be better off going down here. Um yeah, let's clear out these waypoints. I, I think we're better going off the way the game wants to go. Um, because he'll be here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. By the second pulse, he would be here. I mean, he's still probably going to be in range, but at least it's a little further away, I do believe. These guys, okay, this is fine, except I want to change these waypoints. Uh, let's set waypoint one here, but then let's set waypoint two like due south. You know, I, I don't know here, and then up back up into Koapang potentially, potentially. Uh, so there goes that. AMC local mine sweep will leave him here. The Tromp is here. The Tromp needs to get out of here, um, but where? Where do we send the Tromp? E e uh, let's send the Tromp down to Broom. I have to, I have to remember where I send all these places. I usually have a little spreadsheet in my head, but I'm not sure if that's going to work with all of these moving parts. And plus, they're just going places I wouldn't necessarily... You know, why Why, why go to Broom? Why, why not go to Darwin? Um, you know, we'll try to aggregate all of our decent... Um, assets at Darwin to the extent we can. We'll return to Darwin. Let's set some waypoints there. Um, okay. How about, you know, we'll set it here and then he can go up the coast. Uh, can he go full speed? 
Probably not, but we'll see. Cruise speed, full speed. Not quite. Not quite, my friend. Uh, mission speed. We are indeed. Uh, okay, he's going to have some right targets on the back side over here. Here's another tanker. Um, this will just take down to Port Headland, I guess. Sure. You know, I'm kind of trying to mix and match here. Um, and we'll set its home port at Darwin. Okay. Um, CM. It's a two-point ship. It's a mine layer. Why don't we have that go up to Oosthaven? This is truly a, a, a total evacuation of the heart. Um, okay. Got this other mine layer. I don't think they're going to get in that close. So, you know, having things lay mines right now probably isn't going to make a hell of a lot of difference. Uh, okay. I would imagine he may just take a ground grand trip through here, uh, like a parade route. Uh, these are all those. Did they ever, did they get mines? Eh, they've, got, they've got a few. A couple. Like truly a couple. Um, up to Oosthaven you go. Okay. That looks fine. Now then. Um, the sub. Okay, are you refueled? You are. Now the question is, do I send them out here and try to wreak some havoc? Now, they're probably going to die uh, if I send them out here. But, uh, maybe they do something good. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let them go. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, here we've got another mine layer. Man, the Dutch love... Well, I guess that was a British ship, right? A lot of mine layers here, though. Um, okay, your home port. We'll head right up there. And yet one more. Yep. And we'll head you up to Oosthaven as well. Now, next turn, we may have to take them out to the Coco Islands or something weird like that. Uh, but it is what it is. All right, so those guys are all taken care of i guess you'd say i don't know why i didn't just combine these three why didn't i i don't i don't know cm cmc's let's yeah let's put them all together uh the regal's already in something oh okay i can't take those two. Oh, i already put a, okay got it I, I already put them in a task force this one's only a 10 uh speed he's a 16 speed i'm not going to put those together uh, don't slow me down, my friend. Uh, the prince could come in here, I guess. Okay, but it's going to slow him down one knot. That's fine. Um, okay, what do we have in port? Got a lot of stuff in port. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it all really needs to be protected and get the hell out of here. So let's put it all in one task force. Do I dare or do I split them up? We've got two destroyers here. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Okay, let's do support. Let's do a support task force. Uh, there we go. And we got a lot of support ships. All right, let's get out of the ones that are already in something. And let's look at speeds. Um, I definitely want to save these two... Uh, submarine tenders for sure for certain um i will put one of the destroyers in with them do i have anybody that's of similar speed eh. i guess i'll put the 15 in there and the 14 all right it's going to slow them down to a 14 and then the rest i'll put with the pillsbury all right so they're going to get out of here if they can. They're going to try to get to Darwin. We're going to go around and about. Use waypoint. Set waypoint one. Let's just have them go due south like the rest of them. Okay. 
There's that, and then we've got the other one we need to build, which will also be support. And they won't take out anything in the task force, and the Pillsbury will go with them. Lots of tenders of sorts here. All right, we'll have him go to Darwin. Is there enough fuel in the world to fuel up all these ships going to Darwin? Maybe not. Oh, we should set their home port ship. I'll go back and do that. All right. He'll return to Darwin, and let's set up a waypoint. All right. There we go. Um, we can... No, not a chance in hell we can put these on full speed. So we'll see. We'll see how far they can get. Uh, I... I'm not hopeful <laughs> of that task force. Maybe the first one, not of that one. Let's make sure nobody's set on Surubaya as their home. We'll go look at all the task forces here. Um, okay, we've got cargo. We need to take that off. Human control, Port Headland and Darwin. Okay. Then we'll take off this C. Gosh darn it, you're messing up my CSs. Um, Koapang, nope. Set destination. Yeah, he was getting all confused there because he was on a CS. Got to watch that. Um, off you go, my friend. To Darwin, we'll set your home port also as Darwin, and we'll give you a different waypoint. Well, hopefully he doesn't put all his subs right here because I've got half the damn cargo fleet going that way. Uh, right, okay, that all looks fine. Now, was that were some of those ships docked or something? Why were they getting so slowed down coming out? Disband dock, no? Um, he doesn't have enough, but he'll borrow. Um this unit. Okay, these guys got to come out of here. Oh, uh, shit. I don't know. We'll have them come down to Perth. Um, set their home port as Perth. We're going to have a lot of reconfiguring to do once all these things get to where they're supposed to go. Okay, so we've gotten, we've still got four ships in port. They're all under repair. Um... Shoot. All right. Well, we're going to have to turn all of these into pier side readiness. Okay. So he's now ready. If we need to get him out, I think we do. The Canopus has got major damage. All right. We'll get him to readiness. The two subs. We'll get them out and get you to ready. All right. We'll get the pickerel to ready. Okay. So now we've got four ships in port. What are we going to do with them? Well, uh, let's go see. <laughs> let's let's go find out. Uh, the Canopus has no speed. Uh, we'll see if it can get out of here. So that will be a support ship done. Um, he's. I'm not going to have him slow anybody else down. Oh, is it going to take us a turn? Yeah, I'm afraid it's going to take them a turn to get out of here. Okay. Or take him a turn to get out of here. The Barker and these two, I'd like kind of like them all to go together if they could. It would slow the Barker down. Uh, Sub Patrol. Can I get these guys out when they come? Oh, I can get... All right, S39. He's the one that just loaded up and is going to head out. It's going to take a turn before these guys are ready to go. It may be too late by then, but we'll find out, won't we? So we've got four ships in port. Let's go down the, the groups that we've got. Darwin, Darwin, Perth and Perth. Okay, Perth and Perth, Darwin and Darwin. 
AMC, you're sticking around. The Tromp's getting the hell out of here. I probably should put the Tromp with something. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, the Angelina, that's not that big of a deal. These guys, the uh, two mine layers, they're not a big deal. The Gordon Liu, not a big deal. S39 is going to go out, maybe give them a little shocker. Um, okay, actually, that all looks fine. It's going to Oosthaven here, there, everywhere. Uh, let's look one more time, make sure everybody's combat, defend at target. Okay. Woo! Wow! A lot of work to be done. Now, what do we have back over here? We've got a uh, patrol craft. Okay. I, I will just keep him here. Why not? But I will get the uh, Aussies out. Uh, 14. They can get to Koopang, right? Oh! Weather unreachable! How dare you! Um, okay. Can I get to Dilly? How's the weather in Dilly, I say? Um, shoot. I don't want to get him out of here. Kendari, maybe? Kendari is going to be within range, though. Uh, Marak, Macassar. Definitely don't want him going into Macassar. That looks uh, not like a good place to be. Japo, Pamakazan. Hmm. Well, it's 14 hexes. Uh, Wangapo, Bima. Can they not get into Bima? Bima not big enough yet, or not even an air airfield yet, probably. Uh, do I have Bima on here, though? Kendari might be the only place they can go. Valley Poppin, Morak. Uh, shoot. I think they're going to have to go... Hmm. I guess it's Kendari it is. Uh, I don't really like taking them over to Kendari. Uh, that could get in the firing line soon enough. But from Kendari, they could probably go to Koopang if the weather clears, and then to Darwin. That's what we're, that's what we're going to try. Uh, anyway, um... All right, we got the transports out. Uh, what else do we have up here? Uh, we got base force and infantry. We've got torpedo bombers, British torpedo bombers. Let's put them in at Surubaya. All right. Going to have a lot of uh, naval attack and rest. I like it. I mean, if we look at Surubaya now, we've got a number of torpedo bombers. Um, 7, 19, 25, 36 torpedo bombers here, all on naval attack. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, good luck, boys. Good luck. And I mean that. Uh, it's going to take some luck out there. Uh, Tejilla Jap. What's happening in Tejilla Jap? We've got a bunch of level bombers. Okay. Gosh. Oh, he can skip quite a ways. Can he get all the way to Darwin? He can get to Dilly. Well, shit. Come on, Chris. There we go. Latavia, uh, Ambon. He can get all the... Well, if the, the weather's not good, so we can't actually get to Koopang. Um, he can get to Darby or Broom. Yeah, they've got a little support, too, because we've got that... Uh, let's put him in Darby. Awesome. Okay. Now, these guys are totally restricted. I may just... Hey, hey, hey. Uh, they're protected somewhat out of Batavia. What are these? CW-22 Falcons. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, Light-level bombers. What kind of payload are they carrying? Just a 50-kilogram bomb. That's not going to do anything. Not really. All uh, right. Okay. Um, I don't really know what to do with these guys. How about we transfer them for the time being up to Palembang? Do I dare? Uh, Palembang's a little over, but that's okay. We're just going to take them up there. Uh, these level bombers. Let's transfer you out to... I guess I could take them south. 
Not really. Not really. They may be best off, like, right here, to be honest with you. Um, I think Oosthaven can handle them. Oosthaven's way over. Surubaya is not. We've got air cover over Surubaya. Yeah, I'm going to leave him here for now. Um, okay, there we go. Now, what's back here around the backside at Tejilla Jap? We're unloading. Okay, RAF evacuate. Oh, okay got it uh did they already unload yeah they did oh we do we did get the 224 down here a little lighter on the load uh that is for certain let's look at this let's get you off strat let's do combat defend at target okay 224 is down here now that's good uh these guys haven't fully unloaded their supply but that's okay we're going to go ahead and get out of there. We'll go to the Cocos with the supply. How about that? Um, and we'll just make the Cocos their home base for now. We've got a lot of things hanging around out here. I need to go look at... There's so many things on the map that I need to go look at right now. Um, that's fine. Okay, so the 224 RAF did get out. Part of it, at least. Uh, the Canopus AG does not need to be here. That can go down to, let's say, Carnarvon. Again, just kind of spreading things out here on the coast. So he's out. Uh, this is an AKL. Yeah, he can stay there. Uh, local mine sweep. Right. Okay. What do I have at Bandowang? Okay, I do have some Australian fighters here. That's exciting. How many? Five. We got five buffaloes here running up on cap. Um, well, maybe we just leave them here. I'm not sure. What else to do with them, really? We've got level bombers here. They could get on, you know, naval attack. Sure. It's medium. These are the lighter ones. He's doing ASW patrol. I'm not sure how much good that's going to do us. He's training naval attack. Time for, uh, the time for training is over, my friend. It's naval attack or bust. Um, do that. And then we've got recon. That's fine. We'll continue to run some recon. So we've got a few fighters here. Not many, but a few. Um, in Batavia. A lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff here. The main stuff... Uh, I really want to get this out of here. Put them back at the Cocos. For now. That should get them out of range, at least. Uh, that's fine. We've got PT boats everywhere. We've got the Java and the Deroiter. I mean, I'm just not into suicide missions at this moment. I, I'll take them out at the Cocos. They can hang out there for now. Not, not the end of the world. Uh, this is an okay ship. We can maybe move that next time. Same with those. That looks okay. We've got British level bombers that I would like to get out of here if we can. Um, how far can they go, though? Hmm. Or do we just do these on naval attack? Gosh, we've got so few fighters here. Um, oh, I'm going to turn him... Ninety. How about you go all the way to one twenty? I'll take one twenty to one eighty. Oh, too far, too far, my friend. Uh, let's back that up to let's say ninety and one fifty. There we go. Okay, well we'll fly them out over the <laughs> Japanese task force, see if they survive. Uh, we've got those four hawks there. Okay, we've got level bombers, level bombers. Uh, no more training, guys. Training's over. We're going to do naval attack and rest on everybody. Um, fine. Naval attack. I mean, with these Dutch units, like at this point, uh, just throw them in there. Because ultimately, this, I mean, this is what they've got to do. Naval attack. Maximum range. Okay. That all looks fine. 
Naval search. Nah, we'll do naval attack. I like to attack. Uh, okay. Level bombers. Naval search. Nah, we'll have him do the naval search up that way. That's fine. Uh, cap 50 with 11. Okay. Training. Not anymore. Uh, naval attack. Take that off. Let's bump that up. Let's do that. And rest. Okay. Patrol. That's that big patrol. Again, I want to get the Brits out of here if I can. Can I select it on the map? They've got 24 hexes. Uh, we know they can't get into Koopang. Can they get into Dili? Nope. Bad weather. God dang it. Um, whoa. I just freaked it out. What just happened? All right, well, that was strange. I had to put it on pause there for a second. I'm gonna, that thing just totally flipped out. Um, transfer to base. Right. Okay, there we go. Um, gosh, is there anywhere to even take these guys? Yeah, Singapore. Send them up there. Uh, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, not going to do that. Um, Iraq. I guess Palembang gets them out of the way, but that's even starting to get loaded up now. Sinkwang. Hmm. Select on map. Let's see. Can we get him to Bima? Oh, yeah, we don't have the airfield yet. Duh. Um, select on map. Gosh darn it. Did that just happen again? Uh, so weird. That's very strange. Uh, transfer to base, select on map. Okay, it worked. There we go. It scared me. Um, gosh, there's just nowhere to take them south. Maybe I'll take them up here. Ben Kalen? Okay, well, this is fine. We'll go this way, I guess. Uh, transfer to base, select on map, over to Ben Kalen. Um, I guess we're going to have to go look at Ben Kalen here in a moment. We've got a lot of British troops in at Batavia now, so okay, that that's good. We're going out to the Cocos with you. These guys are sticking around. What's this British ship doing? Eh, I've just got him sitting here for now. Uh, what's happening at Ben Kalen? How many people did I bring up here? Level bomber, level bomber. Okay, uh, right. These guys... Actually, next time, we may bring them back down to Batavia for some more naval attack. Uh, British torpedo bombers. Wow. Okay. Only one, unfortunately. Shoot. All right. We've got some fighters at Oosthaven. Four of them. Look out. Uh, level bombers on some naval search, some naval search, some naval search. That's all fine. Uh, well, they're getting a little far out there, though, aren't they? Let's dial that back. Let's make sure they're within our fighter's range. Five, five, four, that's fine. Uh, five, four, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Good enough. Um, that's fine. Well, all right, I'm going to call this an episode. When we uh, come back tomorrow... I am going to have to keep moving stuff around. We will look at some of this other stuff. Kendari, Ambon, we'll look down there. We'll figure out we're not going to be transporting these troops anymore. We'll look at Oosthaven closer, Palembang, which is probably their ultimate destination. There's still many, so many other things we need to look at here. As you can see, the Japanese are now in at Kuala Lumpur. Uh, that's not good. Uh, we may have to rail these troops out. Uh, we're getting kind of trapped up in here a little bit. Don't like that. Um, we'll have to look at Palembang, of course. We'll come over here and look on the west side of Sumatra. There's a lot of stuff going on in China. Um, a lot of stuff going on in general. Anyway, this has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this, this game is getting a lot more exciting now. We will resolve the turn tomorrow, which probably means about six hours of work for me tonight. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.